This is Alin from Javelin with the first video from a series that focuses on unbending tubes, bars, pipes, any profile. And we'll start with a very simple case where the profile is square. In this video, we'll use the sheet metal functionality inside SolidWorks, trying to create two configurations one for the uh, flat bar and one for the bent bar. The problem with SolidWorks Sheet Metal is that you can add bends only on a direction that's normal to the thickness. So in this case, as you can see, I can add this edge flange, but if I try to go in a direction that is parallel to the thickness, uh, for example, based on this edge, you're going to see that you get a warning. Select selected edge is not on planar face, it was whatever that means, but theoretically you cannot go on this direction on the thickness. Let's consider that you have an imported body. This was created in a different CAD software and you now need the flat bar. As I mentioned earlier, the, the problem here is that if you try to run insert bands in sheet metal, and I'm going to pick up this face, notice that it would work here because this goes, this band is normal to the thickness, it will not work here because the band is along the thickness. So if I try to click OK, it's giving me an error. I cannot do that. So let's undo and let's apply the divide and conquer process. We'll try to split this body somewhere in this area. And I'm kind of lucky that the right plane goes exactly to the center of the part, otherwise I would create a sketch with a line for splitting. Let's go to direct editing and run the split command cut this part into two separate bodies. You can see that this is one of them, this is the other one. At this point I have a body that has one band that is normal to the thickness if I specify that this face would define the thickness. So let me run the insert bands for this body. Let me do the same thing for the other body, so I'm going to go in this direction, insert bands, and accept. So at this point each and every one of them can be flattened. This is one, this is the other one. Let's uh, examine what happened here. Notice that SOLIDWORKS calculated first of all the flatten and then it processed the bands to bring it back to with the folded states. Same thing here, calculated the straight uh, configuration and then it bent it. So we need one more thing. We need to bring them together into one body. So let's run combine add to do exactly that. We have we are back at square one. We have the the um, bent configuration. If I try to flatten it, notice that it doesn't work yet. So we will not use the flat pattern for this. What we will use is going to be a configuration where these two process bands will be suppressed. So let me run configure feature in order to create another configuration called flat. Well, these two will be suppressed. So let's see if it works. So I have the band and I have the flat. Default flat. Thank you.